our landslide portfolio. This represents a boulder. I'll just grab this. Uh, this is a great big boulder. There's only one in existence here. Um, these twigs represent trees. This one's the witch's house. You can tell the difference because of the black, nasty top. Actually, it's in the forest. And here's a plain normal house with a brown top. Those ones are everywhere. There's only one witch house. Okay. Okay, so what are we going to do next? Next, we're going to uh, the, you know, squirt inside. Okay. Okay. Here comes the heavy rain. Oh, not that hard. <laughs> okay, do it again, lightly. Angle it a little bit more straight overhead. So what's happening? Uh, storm came. Yeah. Oh, I thought that it's um, actually like all the eggs ago. That's why it ain't happening. It does, it's like bloody. Can I do it majorly hard? No, just keep going. You can start to see what's happening here. Yeah, it's like it's a What's this happening? Okay. okay, this time it's going to be a little different. We're going to have two walls here. I just saw, I was thinking of language arts. In my last story that I read, I was thinking about that tree. So I decided to get a big twig. Name it the Great Capulet Okay, here we go. It's pouring. It's raining. Not very much of a difference yet. Just well, here it keep goes. it coming. Okay, if I make it get higher every few minutes. Just not not just straight stream though. I think this is proving the point that walls help provide shelter for the homes oh. and the boulders and the trees. I feel a little bit stuff in the middle. Yeah. Look at the ones up at the top. They've got that big wall right behind them. Uh, Nothing's moving. Even the great Kapoke tree is still in place. Well, that's because uh, much of animals are with the reindeers. Yeah. <laughs> but what's happening down below? Oh my goodness. They're getting flooded. Not as bad as last time, though. Okay, we're going in in a sec. All right. End of science project.